Hey traders, how's it going? It's Dale here with another live Forex trade video. Well, we're not actually technically on Forex today. We're on the commodity sector and we're looking at crude oil, uh, particularly the Brent crude uh, oil market, the cash market. There's two crude oils, if you didn't know. Uh, there's WTI, which is Western Texas International. And you just basically associate that with like US oil contracts and the UK have their own uh, crude oil market and that's a uh, Brent crude. So I'll just, from now on, I'll just refer to it as UK oil. And that's what my broker does too. As you can see, uh, go markets, just call it UK oil uh, paired with US dollar. What have we got happening here today? We've got oil in an uptrend on the daily chart here. Why? We're doing our top down analysis what's going on, on on the bigger picture first. There's an uptrend, there's higher highs and higher lows. We're getting these you know, uh, biggest swings high and then we're getting retracements that are making uh, higher low and that's the footprint of a bullish trend. I mean, I will admit that the, the swinging action here is pretty uh, wild at the moment, uh, but you know, it's still an uptrend. So this market is technically bullish at the moment. And so there's just been a bit of fuss over the weekend about some crude oil contract. I don't really get involved with that, but um, it caused a gap over the weekend. And generally these gaps can create some trading opportunities, right? Um, especially, let, let me just clear the chart up for you a little bit. Uh, we can see there's the close of Friday and basically here's the open on Monday. So it's quite a big gap there, right? Now, a lot of people are going to say, yeah, just trade, fill the gap. Yeah, okay. A lot of the times the market will fill the gap, uh, not because it's some golden rule that the market has to adhere by. I guess yeah, it's a self-fulfilling kind of thing as well, where a lot of people think that's what's going to happen. So that kind of does. Oh, the way I kind of look at it is, you know, it's just uh, the gaps, if they're so extreme, you know, they can extend price away you know, rapidly and then price just naturally wants to correct, you know, from that overextension. But still, I don't do gap trading exclusively. I mean, I don't, I don't open the chart and say, well, there's a gap, I better, you know, trade to fill it because you'd be surprised how many times there's been big gaps and then you'd, uh, let's just say, um, you know, we opened here today and then the market, oh, I guess the gap trader would uh, buy expecting the market just to shoot up and fill the gap straight away where in uh, in reality it just you know drops down a lot before uh, before it fills the gap so I always wait for that price action action signal first to say hey yeah sure the gaps looks like it's going to get filled so there's not much going on here on the daily chart on the daily chart we can just see the, the context of things it's what's going on we can see the uptrend we can see the gap here we can we can sort of see what's going on I mean uh, I was talking in the war room with the uh, other traders and I just said, you know, with crude oil, just you just got to kind of work with what's going on with, the, I guess, the market cycles. So we're getting these big pushes up uh, and pretty deep corrections and then, you know, quiet, violent swings. So, uh, you know, we've got to wait for a decent, you know, pullback before we can expect another, you know, leg up kind of thing. We're just working with the market structure here and, you know, the, the swings are pretty significant. So... Going to the four hour chart, just got this battle station alert on my phone. Uh, just for you guys who don't know what the battle station is, it's a candlestick algorithm that I've programmed. And it's picked up a, a bullish rejection candle here. And this is formed now. Uh, we've just gone into London by an hour. So a one hour into London. I'm just waiting for my retracement price to be hit. So if, if this price gets triggered, uh, I'm gonna be long. And I should really set a target. Uh, I'm only really looking to get one to three out of this. Um, not, I don't trade crude oil too much. One to three is probably going to fill the fill the gap. Maybe even one to four um, make it worth my while. But I, I think one to three, one to four is a, a logical target here. That's going to fill the gap and um, you know, sort of get back up to where price was. Uh, this is a live account. Uh, let me just bring my MT4 into focus and you can see that uh, I am on a live account there so this is the real deal and yeah so just waiting for this retracement entry to be hit 
and nice and easy. There's not too much thought involved here. Um, you know, we're working with the existing bullish pressure on the daily chart. I've got my battle station alert. Uh, what this candle is is basically basically a rejection candle. And the reason that the battle station has highlighted this is because uh, it's it's past its internal quality control algorithms that I've programmed, or its its filters, I should say. So these internal filters, they check the range of the candle, they check the positioning of the candle as well. You know, uh, did it form a new swing high or low? And uh, you're checking the anatomy of the candle as well to make sure it's quite solid. So on the four-hour chart, you know you, uh, you, you know these intraday swing trading time frames, you you want to be a little bit more picky because um, there's not as much data in the signal as you know say your daily chart. So you got to be a little bit more picky with these. But if this is if this reversion is going to happen, if this gap fill is going to occur, uh, we've got a nice little cal catalyst here uh, for this bullish move to fire up on. Just wait for that order to trigger. It's almost there. And you'll see uh, the spread. Uh, let me just show you something quickly, actually, while I've got you here. You'll notice that um, my actual buy limit is off my re retracement entry price. And that's because of the spread here. We've got a 5.8 pip or I like to work with points so 58 point spread so it's basically six pips if I get my little crosshair tool there you can see I've gone even further and made it seven seven pips there that's gonna avoid uh, let's just say I put my entry price right on the line uh, price could come down and touch that entry price and bounce and not trigger me in I'm not going to go into the details of why in this video if you want to learn more there's a, another video I've done explaining how to set up your trade entries uh you know with the spread because some traders are, get, are getting stopped out too early or not getting triggered into a trade or the target's not getting filled entering breakout orders you know prematurely uh and they don't know why so it, it comes down to the spread so that's why you see me put that little extra gap there to account for the spread it's got, got to do with the ask price uh go watch the video and uh, it, it'll explain it all. But yeah, this is quite a simple trade. I got my alert on the battle station. Nice bullish signal here on the four hour chart to, to um, catalyze that um, you know, gap fill, potential gap fill, and just set it up, forget it, and probably gonna set my target about one to four. And I'll leave the video there, and we'll see how we go with it. Hey traders, I'm back. It's taken me a little while to, uh, to circle around and conclude the video about this crude oil trade because uh, I've been doing some international travel. But here we are, we can see that here's the original price action signal we were talking about and we got a very good result. The market's actually powered through beyond my expectations of about that one to three, one to four target which we were, we were talking about there. And probably, you know, we're probably peaking out at about one to eight. So that's 800% ROI there, one to eight risk reward. Uh, that's if you time the exit perfectly. He could easily have got one to six uh, at this resistance level here. And you can see the move has basically pushed the overall trend into new higher highs up here. So uh, the overall dominant bullish trend is looking pretty solid still at the moment, still getting those higher highs and higher lows. But you know what sucks? I didn't get my retracement entry filled, unfortunately. So I missed this whole move. So that's the sad part of this story. Uh, but I thought it was still uh, a good lesson to share even though I didn't um, actually get my retracement entry filled. You know, this is a good example of how, you know, reading market structure, reading price action, and really, you know, uh, you know, extracting the psychology out of the candlesticks can help you, um, you know, become a really good trader without any indicators or anything like that. So the actual better trade was the US oil market, but um, at the time, this, so we, we, we see we got the retracement entry there, but at, at the time I'd missed the retracement entry. This one was uh, the US oil market was kind of like leading. What I mean by that is like the bullish momentum had already started taking off before I seen the trade. Uh, but the US one was lagging a bit and I thought maybe I could grab that retracement entry, but it basically took off just a, to, just a fraction more, you know, a couple of more you know points down and I would have been filled. Uh, but unfortunately, this sort of thing does happen sometimes. You do miss the trade. It doesn't mean you're a bad trader. It just means that um, part of the game, really. Some some trades you miss, you don't have to beat yourself up over them. 
So if you want to learn more about swing trading like this uh, using price action analysis and the whole price action swing trading methodology, uh, come over and check out theforexguide.com. That's my blog. I've got many other videos and many, many other article tutorials you can check out. Uh, it'll keep you busy for a while. And obviously, if you've got any questions, just uh, you know, you can contact me on the site there, and I'll be happy to answer. Should have another video coming up soon because I am in another trade at the moment, which I also documented. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, and best of luck on the charts.